Highlights presented by Knuckleball Distribution, independent distributor of Dave's Killer Bread, the number one selling organic non-GMO verified bread, serving all of Santa Rosa and Novato. We go to Maria Creole High School for the North Coast Section Division II semifinals, and we've got an all North Bay matchup in this one. Maria Creole from the North Bay League at 18 and 9, taking on Casa Grande, the co champions of the Vine Valley League at 15 and 11. And Connor Sharpio gets the start for the number four seeded Pumas in this one. And promptly, Joe Lampy leads off the game with a base hit through the right side. Casa Grande from Petaluma has the leadoff man aboard. Then after a two-out walk, a 3-2 pitch here. Connor Sharpio starts to walk off. He thought he had the strikeout. Instead, it's ball four, and the bases are loaded for Kyle Taylor. But Taylor hits a chopper to the left side. KC Kelly flips to Gabe Hinchel, and Casa Grande comes up empty. The Gauchos will counter with the left-hander, Chris Sanchez. And he walks Casey Kelly to lead off the game. Chris Latore is next and hits one well into left center field. And that will roll all the way up against the scoreboard fence. Casey Kelly held at third. Runners at second and third. Latore steps off the bag for a moment and is tagged out at second. He argues the case. However, it is an out. Connor Sharpio is next. He hits a deep fly to center field. And it is deep enough to get the run home as KC Kelly tags. It's a sacrifice fly for the starting pitcher Sharpio. And now Maria Creel leads it 1-0. We skip ahead to the third inning. Noah Bailey at the plate facing Sharpio. And he lines this one in the left center field for a base hit. The leadoff man representing the tying run is aboard. And after a couple of flyouts, it's Kyle Taylor. And he gets this one through the left side for a base hit. Two on, two outs for Nick Arella. Little check swing. Long run for KC Kelly. Will he get there? Yes! He dives and in shallow left field makes the play to retire the side as Creo's defense comes up big, holding on to the 1 0 lead. KC Kelly walks. Then they try to throw behind him at first base. And the throw goes into right field. Casey Kelly off and running. He ends up at second. Then after Chris Latore grounds out, it's Connor Sharpio. And he comes through again. This time into the right center field gap for extra bases as that one rolls to the fence. Casey Kelly being waved around third. He scores to make it 2-0. It's a double for Connor Sharpio. The Pumas are far from done, however, in this inning. After a couple of walks, load the bases for Zach Smith. A 3-2 pitch, low. Smith walks, that's an RBI. It's 3-0, then it's Evan Magalis with a little slow roller to the right side, tough play. Everybody's safe as Magalis beats it out. And it is 4-0, Maria Carrillo next. It's Gabe Hinchel, another 3-2 pitch just inside. And Hinchel has an RPI to make it 5-0. Jake McCoy would come on to pitch. KC Kelly at the plate, line drive, base hit, left field. Two runs come to the plate. And Maria Carrillo now leads it 7-0. KC Kelly with a couple of big RBIs and look at the high fives in the Maria Carrillo dugout. Moving ahead to the fifth inning, leading off is Nick Tormino. He hits this one well, but Chris Latore has him played perfectly, and he snags it for the fifth batter in a row, retired by Sharpio. Now it's Cole Santaner, the cleanup guy, and he pops up three flyouts in the inning, and it's a quick one for Connor Sharpio, whose pitch count is getting up into the 80s. We go to the sixth inning now, and Sharpio still on the hill facing Elijah Waltz and Waltz hits this one well and it will roll out into right center field for extra bases as Waltz has a stand up double. Sharpio showing signs of tiring as he faces Kyle Taylor and he rips one into left field for another base hit. Runners at first and third with nobody out. Sharpio may be heading toward the end of the trail. Here's a wild pitch. Hustling after it, Cody Kent, good throw, and he almost got him at the plate. And Sharpio is shaken up on the play. Will he be able to continue? He gets to his feet, 
records a strikeout and then another strikeout and check out he looks over at the dugout says I got this guys Zeke Broccoli is warming up in the bullpen and this would be the final out recorded by Sharpio. Gabe Henschel picks up the roller and throws to Sharpio, covering a three to four to one. And it is seven to one as we head to the seventh inning. The closer, Zeke Broccoli on, and he gets a big strikeout here after a flyout. That is the second out of the inning. One out away now. And this one is popped up to the right side. Evan Magalitz calls for it, and he's got it. Zeke Broccoli, a one, two, three, seventh inning, and Maria Creo is moving on to the championship as they defeat Casa Grande seven to one, and they will be hosting the championship game on Wednesday as they take on number ten seed Benicia for the title here on YSN 365.com. <laughs> 